Allah and His Prophet command the women or, or advise the women most of the advice that's given to women is not to love men, is not to love their husbands. Why do you think that is? Well, because women, love comes naturally, right? We, we give love, this is something that we naturally, and we are, very, um, we are very familiar with the concept of unconditional love. However, there's something we're not that familiar with, and that is respect. We do not understand the concept of unconditional respect. We as women feel like, well, you gotta, you gotta deserve my respect, you gotta earn my respect, right? So if you're treating me bad, I'm not gonna respect you, right? Now that's the problem right there, because when we take on that attitude, we're only gonna get more and more harsh treatment. It's like, it's like this knee-jerk reaction. So the Prophet Sallallahu comes to women and he recommends to women what? Respect your, your, your husbands, right? Obey your husbands. So the, the, the emphasis is on respect. Because when men and women interact, and this is what the experts find, is that the primary need that they find for a man is to feel respected, okay? And the primary need for a woman is to feel cared for or loved. And so what these experts have found is that the conflict that happens between men and women can basically be broken down into this, this formula, which, is, which they call the crazy cycle. And what that crazy cycle is, is that, and this is again, this is interactions between men and women on any level. So whether it's in the context of marriage, or it's in the context of Islamic work, or the context of within a family, whatever. But generally, this is what happens. And the crazy cycle is, this is the conflict, when conflict happens, it usually can be broken down to this. That one of them, so for example, a man might do something, or a brother, might do something that is interpreted by the sister or the woman in whatever context as being uncaring. So he does something that, that feels like it's kind of insensitive, okay? Now what does a woman do in response? Well, our knee-jerk reaction also happens to be the absolute worst reaction. Our knee-jerk reaction is to react with attitude, right? It's to react kind of in an aggressive sort of, um, you know, almost like disrespectful way, okay? And that, the root of that though is that we feel uncared for or we feel unloved or we feel that someone has done something insensitive to us. So we react with harshness. Okay, now what does that do? Well now when you're reacting with disrespect, you're now depriving the man of his primary need, which is to feel respected. And so how does he react? He reacts by being even more unloving and even more uncaring and even more harsh. And so now you are in this crazy cycle because when, now when a woman feels that, she reacts with even more disrespect. So the question is how do we break this cycle? And what they say is that there's something called unconditional respect and unconditional love or care or, or care or consideration, depending on the context, of course. So what does that mean in terms of Islamic work? What does that mean in terms of a marriage or a relationship? Well, what it means is that regardless of whether or not we feel that someone is being insensitive, if we respond, especially when dealing with a man, if a woman responds with unconditional respect, meaning that she remains respectful, that that will actually trigger a man to be more caring and more loving.